Hello, ladies and gents. This is Jamie Lola Tallulah, Poet Spice, and I am here to do another episode of the Steampunk Fantasy Collab, hosted by myself and joined by several other crafty ladies. So make sure you go and check them out in the description box below. Um, they've created some fabulous projects, and I'm just having so much fun. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are too. If you are interested in playing along, definitely go ahead and make sure that you do a VR and title it VR, Steampunk Fantasy Collab with Poet Spice, and then come back to one of these videos and link it so that we can all see what you've done. Yay. Uh -huh -huh. Who else out there loves steampunk? Let me know, because I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm having a little issue because I'm all excited. Anyway, let's go into the products that I used for this week. And first off, once again, I am using this Tim, Tim Holtz ideology paper, The Lost and Found. And it wasn't my intent when I started this collab to like kill this pad. Um, however, it seems that I am liking this pad <laughs> for this collab. So I've been using it a lot. All right, next thing, you guys are going to have a fit. If you know me, you're going to just pass out. I use some of my Graphic 45 Imagine Collection paper. It was only one sheet, <laughs> but the point is I used it. And if you're new to my channel, I tend to hoard Graphic 45. I'll even buy, say, I go to the store and be like, okay, I'll buy two. One that I can hoard and one that I'll use. And then what do I end up doing? Hoarding both of them. <laughs> so I actually used a sheet out of there <laughs> down to the scrap that's all I have left of that one sheet what okay next dies I used this tattered lace die and I cut it apart again so I used the hat as well as the ribbon pieces um, in pieces basically I got in I was so excited I got in my hexagon lid from the verso dies the other day and so i immediately cracked that mug open i was like i'm gonna make a box and then i use the panels from the christmas one so i am still waiting on the stuff from crap well by the time you see this video i should have it but as the time of filming this video i still haven't received my other bundle from craft stash and i'm like come on come on come on come on i want it before i have to go back to work so yeah, there you go. Let me quit rambling. You guys are like, shut up, show the projects, shut up, show the projects. <laughs> okay, I'm dropping stuff. All right, let's start with the smallest one first. I actually did three projects this time using up those scraps. So I made a tag. And you can see this teeny tiny bit of graphic 45 paper that I had left. Um, it's on some black cardstock. There's a little gold piece there and then that piece of graphic 45 and then I used some cog dies um, this one is actually a crafters companion and these are china dies and then I used this dream it actually said dreamer and I called it cut off the er I want to say whew, I want to say that I can't even remember what brand because I took it out of the package and just put it with all my word dies. Now, I wasn't sure what kind of tassel -y stuff I wanted on it, so I just left that off. All right, so we have a tag. Next, I made a card. I've been using this Pearl Essent card um, kit that was well, not really a kit. It's just envelopes and cards that I got at the store on clearance. And so here is my card for that. And it's going to be glary because you've got that gold mirror card on it so you can see this is the die from um tattered lace part of the banner these are some china dies right here this is actually <sighs> there's that dreamer die again i want to say this is mm, i forget what brand but it's the letters and then this chain piece here is from a china die as well so it says journey dreamer you got that graphic 45 and as you see i had some pages so i just wanted to go ahead and use those scraps and then on the inside i put a piece of cream paper to write on and then the gears once again this one here is a crafter's companion and then the others this one and that one are china dies 
So, and this is a five by seven card. So I make those. Now for the fabulous, the fantabulous. Oh, look at that. There's the lid. Now, these were some, this was a feather I had in my stash and I got it to look like that by going over it with an alcohol marker. So yes, you can color up and tint your feathers. It was already red and then I just wanted some darkness on it so I put some dark gray. So here is that steampunk hat and I cut it twice, once in the gold and then in the black. Um, you can see where I cut pieces out. There's some leftover, like the waist that was in here, I just put on there as some little bits here. These are some Anna Griffin butterflies that I got from Jill, who has loved my two pugs one, and she changed her channel name to Jill something. I can't remember. But that's who I got these butterflies from. So I put those up, did some little shaping to them, um, and put them up on foam tape, just like this. Um, you can see the lid, the hexagon lid. These are two layers, so it's got a dotted layer and a stitched layer. Um, then you can see the box. So look, it's a hexy box. So on this panel, you've got, this comes out of the hexy lid, yes. So you've got this panel and I cut it for, the only thing about making these boxes is you had to cut so many. So in order to get this on each of the flaps, I had to cut it 12 times. Okay, so down here, this layer and this layer are cut from the Christmas, um, the Christmas panels. And you can see that little slotted. I thought that looked kind of cool on there. And then here's some more of those. This is a piece of that tattered lace die. And this is the eye piece from here. Actually, it's that one. All right, then you turn the other side and you can see where I cut it in gold and cut the piece down. And there's another one of those butterflies. And this was a piece of waste, so I put that on there. On this side, there's another piece of that ribbon cut down. And then these are some, this is a china die and these gold pieces are pieces off of this here. On this side, you've got that gold like Edison light bulb thing going from the die and then another butterfly. On this one, it's another piece cut down. This piece is this piece right there used. And then I think this is a Crafter's Companion gear. And then you have here, this piece and this piece come out of the hat. And then you have another piece here and another butterfly. And I think that brings us back to the beginning. Isn't that fabulous? Oh my gosh. So the base is there. And you can take the lid off, and there it is. And it's amazing because it's a little, it, it's, it's sturdy. It's like, you can see it's sturdy, but it's like got a little more give. And then as soon as you put that lid on, it definitely, you know, you get your lid on. Oops, I don't know if I actually put the corners in the right place. There you go. Once you get your lid on, it's even more solid. So that is my steampunk box. I can't wait to make some more of these. I don't know why, but I love this one. <laughs> Just love it. And then in case you didn't see the other ones from the Christmas one, I did these. That flower doesn't go on there, but that was cute, wasn't it? And then you can make a box like this by putting two together. Or you can make six of them sweet okay thanks for watching go check out the other ladies and i shall see you next time yes and if you would like to see a demo of the box putting the box together let me know and i can do like a tutorial for that okay now i won't decorate it but you know how to construct the box all right thanks for watching see you guys later